Hi Cancer, welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody is well, doing good. Can't believe I'm doing July reading already. Oh gosh, the months are going by so fast. So if you're new to my channel, everything else, everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. Um, if this reading resonates with you, I will look at uh, the person you're dealing with, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, uh, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. It's an almost personal reading. I do it just completely brand new, uh, you know, without uh, what we see here in the reading. And so that link is below in the description box. Uh, everything else is there too. I did open up personal readings again. So uh, that info is below on how to contact me. So with that, let's just get started, Cancer. I uh, want to say thank you for all of your love, your support, uh, subscribing to my channel, your likes, your shares. Uh, I feel like you guys are my biggest fans. So thank you. All right. Uh, maybe because I'm a fellow Cancerian, right? We connect. <laughs> All right, so pull in your energy here. Let's see what we have. Ooh, wow, I've never had that happen before. We have a thinking woman and we have a thinking man, okay? I've never had those two cards come out side by side in the past. Let's see what else we, oh, wow, Cancer. Angel of love, thinking man, thinking woman. You and somebody are thinking about each other, okay? We'll see uh, how this plays out. You have number 47, which is 11, 46, which is 10. And we have 49, which is 13, which is 4. Interesting. And I'm going to say it's not about male or female. You know, it's about the energies. So don't get caught up on the sexes. Uh, know that roles and energies can be reversed as well. So let's see what the energy is. Okay, this has got me. This has got me thinking. Look at that. You and somebody here are definitely thinking about each other. There's mutual feelings here, okay, or mutual interest. Okay, everybody's going to be in different phases here. So let's see what's happening for Cancer. For the month of July, let's see here. Okay, Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, the Devil, Capricorn energy there, strong Capricorn energy. We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, King of Cups, the moon card, a lot of emotion here, okay, a lot of emotion here. Let's see here, temperance, strong Sagittarius. Okay. Oh, all right, looks like this one wanted to come out here. Let me just, a bunch of cards just flipped over here in the deck, Let's see what we got on the bottom. Oh, there you are, Cancer. Queen of Cups, and look, right next to each other, King and Queen of Cups. You've got a divine uh, partner here, okay? Potential, uh, you know, if you're not together with this person. But I'm going to say here, Cancer, you and somebody are definitely connected. I'm going to say spiritually, you have mutual feelings for each other, okay? Now, it, it, it can be... Oh, it could be right at a higher level here, right, a, a past life soulmate connection. But I feel here what you're thinking about. I'm going to read this differently how I would normally read it. And it's only because you got thinking man, thinking woman here. So you got the Ace of Swords, you got the Three of Wands, and you have the Devil card, okay? I feel like what you're thinking here, I feel like you're thinking about, right, should, um, you know, I feel like you're still having a hard time maybe letting somebody go with this Devil card. Uh, I feel like you're also looking at possibilities, opening your options here, and I feel like you're wondering if you're going to get some communication, right, from this person is really what I get here, okay? So you could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sag, we have strong Capricorn, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, we have your energy here, we also have Scorpio, Pisces, uh, you could be dealing with another Cancerian, strong Sagittarius, 
as well. Strong Pisces too, okay? So thinking man, okay? What's on your person's mind here, what I'm seeing here? Some of you, I feel like really this could be a twin flame too. But you have the Nine of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups, and you have the King of Cups. This is someone who has a lot of love for you, I'm just going to say. They have feelings for you, okay? I really do. Now, there's something here with this Nine of Wands. This person's been holding back, okay? I feel like this person's been holding back from communication here um, because I feel like you got somebody who gets really caught up in their head, okay? They get really caught up in their head, you know, with their emotions, uh, probably somebody here who has a very hard time being vulnerable or expressing their feelings to you. But uh, I feel like they've been holding back a little bit because they're guarded. Now, it could be that they got some things going on in their life, right? They could have some other challenges and things that are going on with them. Uh, so that's an indication there. But center of your reading here is the Ace of Cups, okay? I feel like you, this person here is coming towards you. Their energy is showing me that. Now, with the angel of love here, okay, right next to it, look at all this emotion here with the moon card. Now, it may be unsaid. I'm just going to say that. I feel like it may be unsaid from this person. This person, right, I feel like they're having a hard time because I feel like this person here um, does have the feelings, does have the emotion for you, but I feel like they have a hard time expressing it, okay? Because this person here is trying to balance. They're trying to temper their emotions here. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, there could be some healing, right, that's needed uh, between you and this person. I feel like this person does things uh, in their timing, in the right timing here. Uh, definitely, like I said, they're in their head here. And you have the Knight of Wands here, okay? So I do feel like this person is returning, okay? They are, it is showing up as the Knight of Wands. They're showing up as the Knight of Wands and the King of Cups. So I don't feel like they're just returning here for intimacy because there's a lot of feelings here. However, what I'm going to say uh, with the light just went out, <laughs> with the Devil card, um, I, this is someone who ha is having a hard time letting you go, okay? And I feel both of you are. I feel there's still a very strong connection, but I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very, very guarded, okay? Now, bottom of the deck here, you have the Queen of Cups, your energy, and you have the Five of Pentacles, okay? This is why I feel like you're still keeping your options open, okay? Or you're thinking about the future and keeping your options open because with this devil card here, you're not too sure about this person. I feel like you're not too sure if this person is going to repeat the same patterns of the past. Are they going to make uh, the same choices, decisions, um, you know, temptations? I'm going to say for some of you with this three of cups, all right, um, for some of you, there could have been a third party situation, but what I'm also going to say here, you also have the sun card. So there is an opportunity, I feel, for you and this person to reconnect, maybe reconcile, but I also feel like there could have been some outside interference, okay? You got the five of wands down here as well, okay? So there could have been some drama, there could have been some noise, some people interfering, uh, you know, and I'm going to say it could be anybody, anybody. It doesn't have to be another lover. It can be friends, family, what have you, okay? So with that, Cancer, I'm going to pull some more cards. And then after this, we're going to pull uh, some Kipper cards. We're going to see what other additional details we can get here, okay? What else can you show Cancer for the month of July? What else does Cancer need to know? Okay, so you have the Emperor, Strong Aries Energy. You have the Death Rebirth card, a Strong Scorpio. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, the Nine of Cups. Oh my gosh, Cancer, and look at this. You have the Sun card, okay? I feel if this is somebody, and, and, and I feel like some of you are keeping your options open, right? But I feel like the, if this is somebody you truly... <clears throat> feel that you could be with, right? That you could reconnect with. 
I feel here that there is an opportunity here. You got it, an emperor here, ace of pentacles. This is someone who's seriously thinking about the future, building something long term with you. A rebirth here, okay? A rebirth from a, from an ending in the past or a transformation. Okay, telling me that, you know, this person maybe they maybe they have like worked on some of these unhealthy or toxic behaviors from the past. And I'm going to say it could be both of you. It doesn't necessarily mean it's just your person. Both of you may have had behaviors that needed to change. I feel there's a great opportunity for those things to change, all right? The other thing I kind of pick up here too, Cancer, I feel like you could even have a new love opportunity here too, okay, with this three of wands. I feel there could be another uh, love opportunity that's coming in for you and also uh, somebody here that you've had a hard time letting go. There's that potential. I don't think it's going to be everybody, but some of you I feel will have another new love choice coming in in July. All right, and look at this, the sun card, okay? A lot of potential for happiness, joy. I do see uh, the start of a relationship here, something that could potentially go long term. Now, it's going to decide here because, like I said, I feel like you could have another option coming in. And I always say this, you and Gemini's readings are uh, usually come out pretty similar, um, so if you have Gemini in your chart, you might want to check out Gemini's reading. So I'm going to pull some Kipper cards and then we're going to take it to uh, the almost personal reading, extend it. Okay, so interesting. You have child here. You have thoughts. Okay, again, thoughts. A lot of thinking here, okay. Sudden wealth and we're going to uh, pull one more main female okay so cancer uh child here there may be a child involved somehow all right um you know i'm gonna say there's two scenarios i'm getting there with the person that you're dealing with here they may have a child or you have a child somehow a child may be involved and that could be a part of this person's decision, uh, you know, making, for instance, maybe there's a child that lives with this person and they're thinking about how, you know, their life would, would change with you and their life for the long term. Okay. And how it would affect the child could be vice versa. All right. But the other thing I get here, this could be somebody, like I said, gets really caught up in their head in their emotions about things. They have a hard time being vulnerable it could be from you know their childhood okay maybe traumatic things that happened in their childhood or something that happened um, that you know they needed to do some healing okay it's gonna be different for everybody thoughts okay you're on this person's mind you know 100 percent here this person can't stop thinking about you okay and i bet you they've tried okay i bet you this is someone who probably tries to to work a lot to forget you is is what i get here even though the feelings are still are so strong but this person can't stop thinking about you you also have your sudden wealth right i feel there's a wealth of abundance coming towards you now i'm going to say some of you this could mean money right this could be a side note some sort of money is coming in, but I really feel this is more about abundance in love, okay? You got main female here, okay? Divine feminine, if you want to say that. Um, again, not about male or female, but what I get here, okay? So some of you could get some money from a female. And number two here, I feel that this person here, things are about to change, okay? There's a wealth of abundance. Look at that with the angel love. There's a lot of love, I feel, here in your reading that is coming towards you okay and you're going to feel like the main person whichever direction you go in because like i said for some of you i feel like there's a new love situation too because you have options here but you know you have to decide which direction you want to move in and in the extended i'm going to look at new love as well for you uh, but i feel like things are about to really change for you somebody here has definitely got you on their mind 
okay? And and I feel like there's a mutual feelings here between you and this person. So Cancer, really nice read for you. I'm gonna take it now to the almost personal reading, the extended, the link is below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel of 